Hello people, this is Mark from Color Change Works. Guys, hope that you're well. Um, as you can see in the reflection outside my car, nice warm day in England. Uh, just enjoying the last couple of days before the cold sets in and then of course everything changes for something different, something new. In any case, that's about it for the weather and where we are uh, at this point in time. Guys, I want to talk to you about polarization. And I did this uh, video uh, training uh, through a guy called James Strip. Go check him out. He's really good. Uh, in my mind, one of the best. Uh, when it comes down to hypnosis and hypnotherapy training, he's got a couple of uh, series or channels. Uh, one's called Chaos Wave, and the other one is called The Online Deep Apprenticeship. If you just put James Strip in, um, it will come up. Go check him out. He's fantastic. And in this particular video, he's on about polarization to the two opposites and how we need the opposites in order to generate uh, an environment for growth and stimulation and how that is needed for successful uh, change work and stuff like this. And I totally, totally agree with him. You know, if it wasn't for this and that, we would not be able to marry these two things together in therapy and change work in order to propel the, the person forward in order to break away from their current state, uh, their current circumstances and events and places, mindsets and all this kind of thing, in order for them to establish a new environment for them to start growing. That's the whole idea. And it made me think about, you know, not only in change work do we need these polar opposites, um, but we also, what I've noticed is um, this whole thing about polarization. I nearly went down another tangent here, which is for another video altogether. Um, this thing about polarization, if you've noticed in the world uh, what's going on in and if you're paying attention to the media and the news and so on and so forth, you would you would see that the the, the society is actually being um, kind of wedged apart, creating polar opposites. Think about finance for a minute. You know, it made me think earlier that you get all these celebrities moaning that they haven't got any money when they've got millions in the bank. And yet the people who have nothing never say a word. Polar opposites. Same celebrities. They get invited to go on all these reality shows so they can get even more money. And the people who need it, nothing wedging, dividing society financially. Now more relevant and more up-to-date and more current in the affairs of the world, this whole thing about coronavirus and all this kind of carry on, I've noticed that even today I was sadly listening to the news when I was on, on my way to do a particular job for someone the 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 government has now brought in a a new rule you can only have six people at one point and if you have more than that then you're going to get fined okay i just asked the question what about all these writers that hoard in the thousands what's going to happen with those and it nearly appears that if you are law-abiding, you're in this camp. But if you're opposed to the law, you're in this camp. But you'll get penalized. And you won't. It's like the rewards are the wrong way around. Polarization. So the economy, social things. Let's look at something different. Families. In my case, I've separated how the social system separates 
by dividing, by favoring one out of the two parental figures in a family, they favor one and thereby victimizing the other, causing a divide, causing tension and stress and discontent and all the other nasties that are out there. Polarization. I'm going to introduce the spiritual realm here too. When we look at all these things, if we stack them all up and we globally put them together, you will find that there's a, a portion of good and there's a portion of bad. And when you look at these things carefully, you will notice that whoever does the good things, they will get penalized. You'll get segregated. You'll get isolated. You'll get punished, so to speak. But if you stand in opposition to what is good, you'll get rewarded. Again, it nearly seems that even in the supernatural, the spiritual, there is. And I understand that there's a massive polar opposite environment that is that governs this, the supernatural, the mystical, the out there bit. Now, there's a lot of people, and no doubt there will be people who view this video and will say, Mark, that you, you, you silly. There's no such thing as bad or evil. And my suggestion is try and stand up for what is right. And when you see something that is corrupt or evil, that is against things that promote life, as soon as you make a stance against that, by promoting well-being and health and all this kind of stuff, you will quickly find out that there's thousands of people and organizations that will oppose you. They will build walls to prevent you from going forward. But as soon as you switch camps, then you're the one who is building the walls, preventing others from standing for what is right and just and fair. And it nearly appears to me that the whole world is basically cut in half and something is driving a wedge that's keeping people apart. Starting at the small units, the family units, and it starts there because it's the easy target. And then it's finances and then social interaction and then it's bigger things. Interesting like to hear your stories if you've experienced seen or ex you know particularly experienced it and I know I've said it twice now but and it made me think about me I as a person and you as a person have you been subject to your own segregation have you been imposing rules and regulations and values and beliefs that kind of gives polar opposites in your own life, in my own life, have I done that? And the answer is yes. For me, it's to help me keep a balance. And for other people, it could also be for balance or for any other reason. I don't know. It's just something that I've noticed. How the two camps are being forced apart. And I wonder where it will all end. When I consider the, the motion of where we are in the world today. Where will all this division, when and where will it all end? Guys, this is it for this particular video. Polarization, it's a dangerous game. Instead of getting a chainsaw, a virtual chainsaw and cutting these things up into bits. Why don't we get glue and put things back together again and use the same chainsaw to cut up things that cause division rather than promote it. Glue things together that is needed to be tight and strong and in unity 
and break up the things that is causing the stuff. That's my mission. I'm going to invite you and encourage you for to become your mission. Stand together united because together we will stand and survive and we'll do things for the better. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. When you hit the bell, pick call. So every time we upload a video, you'll be notified by the normal means. And keep this channel growing and going, please. I know it's my little saying that I developed the other day, and I like it. But isn't this what it's all about? All the communities on, on Facebook and YouTube, we all want to grow and keep on going. This is Mark from Coast Works. I'll speak to you soon.